Okay, this is a Citroen C3 Picasso. It's the 1.6 HDI selection, five door. It's a diesel, uh, 90 brake horsepower. Done 9,375 miles. Really, really nice car inside and out. Unusual color, kind of a violet metallic, I, I would say. But it's got the full pan roof with the sliding shade band. Um, bags are let's, let's just have a look at it. Fuel consumption. Um, urban 60.1, extra urban 76.3, and combined is 68.9. So, very, very economical car. I think it's only £20 to uh, road tax as well from memory, so, very economical little thing. And very handy too, the back seats fold down, really, really well equipped. Uh, we've got air conditioning here, which I'll just turn up actually because it's fairly warm today. Uh, CD radio, we've got. Uh, can just find it. Where's it gone? Here we go. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Electric windows, electric door mirrors. Down in the centre there, we've got cup holders, and it's a nice little touch. There's a power socket at one side, and then the other side, under the same sort of designed cap as the power socket, uh, there's a USB in and also an auxiliary in. So. Uh, They've uh, given it some thought. Good design setter in these days. Um, it's got diamond cut and black alloys. We've got roof rails as well. Nippy engine. All the controls, which will be pretty sure is Bluetooth hands free. That control is here on the right hand side. Then you've got cruise control, which again, you can only see when you're turning right or left, not when you're going straight. So, design flaw with most cars these days. A nice kind of, I'm assuming it's plastic, but it looks like brushed aluminium with a diamond pattern. Great, very, very clear. Um, LCD dashboard there, the rev counter, speed in uh, numerals as opposed to a dial, and uh, the fuel gauge at the side. So left hand side is your fuel computer, it's telling you how far you've got to go before you need to fill up. Uh, there'll be various other settings too. Got chrome door handles, nice big headlights. Got uh, polished aluminium around the vents. Seats are really comfortable, and uh, I could do it going down a bit because I'm too high up. So it's height adjustable there. Brakes are really nice, as opposed to the way Citroëns used to be in the old days with a brake button, not a pedal. <laughs> they were either full on or, or off. So it's a 2014. Grey cloth, outer panels with a um, cracking. How would you describe that? I don't know. It's like a, a woven centre panel, but ni nice and comfortable. Plenty of padding. Yeah, we'll give it some gas. Oops, too fast. It's not bad, is it? It's got a fairly good turn of speed for a little car. Got a 
little storage compartment here in this in the center there just forward of the, the instruments five-speed gearbox little bit of noise off the roof rails there wind noise but uh, nothing too drastic two pieces so you can just pull this over the driver and the passengers can still have the benefit and reduces any glare and, and heat Nice light clutch and easy gear change. No excuse for speeding in here because the, the digits on the speedo are like yay big. behind the quarters of three position the steering wheel spoke unless you're used to the cruise control you've got to do it by instinct and there's a wheel on the stalk you turn the wheel down in the center position it's off knock it turn it up and you can set the speed limit so it won't go any faster turn it down and you can set the actual speed you want it to do automatically We've, uh, I've just clicked it too much there, so we've just sped up. So there's two buttons at the back. You click the top one and it'll increase your speed. You click the bottom one and it reduces your speed. So I've just set it on 70 miles an hour now. We're doing 2,100 revs at 70 miles an hour. And again, according to the government figures, um, least you would expect to get out of this car is 60 miles to the gallon. There's plenty of room for four or five people and a fair amount of luggage space as well. Air conditioning spot on. like a new car but there will be a massive saving got uh, cup holders down here very nice comfortable car 
quite a sort of look, quirky, design, whatever. Just have to knock the cruise off there. Yeah, knock the cruise off, obviously by braking then, there's a car overtaking. Just press the button in at the end of the stalk here, and you're away again. The, the stalk on the right hand side behind uh, three o'clock is um, the radio controls as well, or audio functions. suspension as opposed to the air suspension that you could uh, move up and down. French suspension, pretty soft. Even sound the bumps in the road, not too wallowy. sort of clock that's on the outer panels of the seats is also on the doors here nice armrest again good visibility because the A pillars are very very narrow and then you've got this big glass panel or quarter light at the front there. Um, excellent all round visibility. The car's nice and light inside. Even lighter with that forward. Notice in the boot before when I was putting some of my camera 
this would be an ideal uh, vehicle for somebody with dogs as well because it's a it's a flat loading area, um, bumper height straight into the car, so not too high for the dogs to jump in. great bend here and I always get stuck behind the lorry but as you can see great steering on the Citroen because if it had got in the right lane to start off with we would have been able to come around there a bit faster